Welcome to LEADER and the innovative Audio Rescue Wireless Detection and Location System. The Audio Rescue range is part of our new generation of technical search and rescue equipment. This cutting-edge technology has evolved over many years of working with USAR teams around the world and we are proud to introduce the world's first ever wireless system. The wireless audio rescue system is supplied fully self-contained in a lightweight portable protective case. The case is totally waterproof and, with its foam padding, protects the equipment from shock and vibration. The system is made up of three main components. The seismic sensors, the acoustic probe and the control module. The Wireless Audio Rescue Detection System is a combination of the latest seismic and acoustic technologies. Seismic sensors are used to detect sound vibrations Help. generated by a victim's movement Help. or voice, which then travel through Help. the structural mass of the collapse or other means of entrapment. The acoustic sensor detects sound vibrations traveling through the airspace of the mass. The Wireless Audio Rescue effectively turns the entire collapse into a powerful amplifier converting the faintest of sounds into visual and audible signals. Intuitive design and technology allows immediate deployment with quick and simple operational use. Once the search area has been determined, a hasty search can be done quickly, gaining crucial time in the search for trapped victims. There is the option of using one, two or three wireless sensors. The wireless feature of the system allows for instant deployment, as well as the ability to search a greater area in a fraction of the time. Each sensor is omnidirectional, so can be placed vertically or horizontally, providing all sensors are in the same orientational axis. The sensors rely on mechanical vibrations conducted through the structure. The key to optimizing these sounds is a good mechanical connection between the material and the sensor. The sensors can be sighted on metal by attaching a magnet to the base. They can be weighed down with a rock or clamped to a concrete beam or column. Attaching spikes to the sensors allows sighting in loose material as well as in crevices and holes where the spike can be pushed in or wedged securely. The control module incorporates a highly visual display screen showing distinct signal strengths from up to six sensors simultaneously and has a peak level indicator to help identify the strongest signal. The monitoring of seismic noise and victim identification can be done by using the high noise reducing headset. A second headset option allows two operators to work together. Many of the unique features from the Audio Rescue Wired system are featured in the wireless systems. Sensor and volume gains, noise filtering, seismic or audio monitoring, peak indicators, and a unique way to alternate between mono or stereo listening mode has now been introduced by simply pressing the push to talk button. Whilst in either mode, individual sensors can be selected or deselected for audible monitoring. When operating stereo mode, individual sensors can be selected for either left or right sided isolation to allow for sound comparison. The wireless audio rescue is easily adapted for both primary search detection and secondary search location. You can use up to three wireless sensors to systematically cover the grid map for viable victim detection. Keep the sensors linear and monitor for the highest peak readings. This can be expanded to six sensors if needed by introducing the three optional wired sensors. The wired part of the equipment is an expansion option or secondary backup just in case the wireless option is not able to operate in the particular area of operations. Once a victim has been detected, location techniques can be implemented. 
Although it can be affected by the variables of the collapse, the strongest signal generally indicates a victim's location. Whilst leaving the highest peak sensor in place, triangulate the other sensors around it. Continue to move all sensors closer to the highest peak sensor until all readings are equal. Location should then be successfully accomplished. Communication can be established by using the highly sensitive audio probe. With continuous open mic and easy access push to talk via the control module, the probe can be placed deep into the structure. Help! Help! Get me out! Try to stay calm. The battery pack can be charged by mains power or from any vehicle with a cigarette lighter. The charge time for the battery pack is 4 hours and the operational running time is 8 hours. There is also an optional 30 hour runtime battery available. Power to the control module can also be supplied from standard AA batteries by using the supplied battery case. The wireless sensors are also powered by disposable or rechargeable AAA batteries. After use, the wireless audio rescue requires little maintenance apart from cleaning off debris or dust. This can be done by simply using a damp cloth with a light detergent if necessary. The wireless audio rescue, Visio search and sentry systems from LIDA have proven to be reliable, effective and simple to use, delivering a global solution for search and rescue teams. We hope you have found this presentation helpful and informative. For more information on this or any other firefighting equipment product from the LIDA range, please visit our website at www.leader-group.eu.